Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and before I start on today's video, I wanted to bring up a new class that I just launched. In the world around us, there's a hunger for hope. There's a hunger for God that only He can answer. But there's also tangible, earthly hunger for the basics of life like food. I'm hoping that we as a Bible journaling community can join in an effort to address the food needs that we're facing with this new fundraiser class called Hunger for Hope. The class is comprised of all of my Advent series videos from the past several years. So the content is already public, except for this year's of course, which are already in the class and available. If you want to see them early, that's how but they will become public here on YouTube every Sunday of Advent, as always. But why pay for a class when the content is free? Well, because that's how I know to gather funds through my teaching site, not just during Advent, but all year long, to give to the hungry and serve them as Jesus called us to do. In the class, you'll have several videos on the four topics, hope, peace, joy, and love, with different verses for each, and every year, I'm going to add my Advent series to it on the first Sunday of Advent. So the class content will grow year after year, and you continue to have access to it. The themes, techniques, and ideas in the class can be adapted for seasons other than Advent. So I do hope the resources are going to be a blessing to you, even as we are a blessing to hungry families in our communities. The charities that we donate to will change throughout the coming years as needs change, and I'll be reporting donations and fundraising efforts in our Bible Journaling Made Simple Facebook group. Please see the links in the description for both the class and the Facebook group if you're interested in either one. The fourth Sunday of Advent is themed with love. What a perfect way to set ourselves off toward Christmas on this final Sunday. In John 15, Jesus says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. I'll be journaling on Toma River paper, as I have been throughout this series, making tip-ins. And you can see through this paper. You can also trim it down to the size you need for your Bible. So it's nice to have it flexible that way. And once again, I'm going to use my Art Graph light pad for the tracing. And I have, of course, created my originals on tracing paper over and over again as I was trying to finalize the lettering and the design. And I even as I traced it onto my Toma River paper, I adjusted things, adjusted curves and stuff just a little bit more to try to make it exactly what I wanted it to be for the final one of the nice things about it is you can change things up as you go. It's just a pencil, so you can erase it and fix areas that you need to fix. You could do this as well by putting the paper up against a window or sliding glass door. You don't need a fancy light box like this, but I have it linked in the supplies if you are interested in getting one because it does make it a little easier to work in your crafty or creative workspace as opposed to running out to the dining room window to try to get your tracing done. And for this one, I was going to keep the whole thing much simpler. I decided to go with pinks for my theme color-wise for this one, of course, because of love. And I'm using a kind of medium pink color in my Polychromos pencil collection for the main color on the word love and I'll add a shadow basically half of the words so that you get a transition from the color at the top to more of a red at the bottom just to give a little more interest instead of being one solid color it's got multiple colors in it and you can go back through all of the advent series videos the last four or the last three that I've put up all have different ways to handle lettering like this and you can check those out. You could also of course take the class and join in our fundraising efforts. I am recording this audio before even launching the class of course so I have no idea how to report to you whether or not this has been a successful fundraiser already 
I kind of hope that it has by now. That would be nice to know that we as a Bible journaling community can share the love of Jesus by sharing our resources with those who need help right now. And what a way to show them love by meeting the basic needs, the human needs that people have. I'm also going to add a reddish purple shadow. And this is more of a, in one of the previous ones, I showed you how to do a, a line and leaving a white space in between the letters and the shadow itself. But here I'm doing just adding the shadow directly below the letters themselves. The shadows all go on the, in this particular instance, on the left and bottom of each shape. So as the shape starts to curve toward being horizontal and being the top of a letter, the shadow gets thinner. And, you know, likewise, it gets thicker when it's toward the left side, that sort of thing. And you could create something like this if you're uncomfortable trying to figure out where all of the shapes would go. When you're doing your tracing, finish the, the word love first and then move the paper just slightly over and draw a second outside line and that will be your shadow. It's a real easy way to get yourself used to doing it if you're not someone who intuitively understands putting a shadow on the left and bottom side of something. You could also put it on the right side or the top or any, any different direction and do it in the same kind of a way. Just trace it, trace the same thing again by shifting the paper. For the key, which the key being the love of Jesus and finding out how much he loves us. He loved us so much that he came to be with us in human form on Christmas. The key is going to be in darker colors. I'm going to leave the lighter color in the, the word love only, that light pink, and then start to color in the key with the medium red that I used for the shadow. And look at the difference between the medium red that's here just on plain paper versus the medium red that was colored in the bottom of the word love. Part of that difference is because I'm pressing a little bit harder right now with the pencil, so I get a little more intense of a red. Part of it, though, is because it's not on top of pink. Because when you layer colors on top of each other, you get a little bit of that other color as well. So in the bottom of the word love, it's blending that red with the pink that was already there. I chose a few sections to highlight with, well, highlight shadow, I guess, to mark with the darker color, not necessarily because of lighting, but just to create some differences in the shapes that are in the key so that I get a little more definition here and there in the various shapes. And then my white pen just seems to always want to come out and <laughs> play when I'm doing any of my artwork, especially in the winter time. I have lots of my white pens around because I do lots of Christmas cards with snow on them, etc. So I'm going to add a little bit of highlights just to random places on the key to make them a little more fun, make it have a little bit of a sparkle to it. And I've talked about the white pen, the Uniball Signo, in the last couple of videos. So I'll let you watch those and get more tips on using them. And then I'll finish off by using my me medium red pencil to create the word find. And then gluing it in, of course, using some liquid glue. I've showed you some tips throughout these videos. And just make sure that you let it dry completely before closing it if you're going to use liquid adhesive. I'm just going to tell you that just because I learned a few things about not being silly and closing my Bible too soon. Thank you for joining me for this series. I hope that you'll be interested in taking the class and joining in on that fundraiser. I hope you have a beautiful and a blessed Christmas coming up, and I'll see you after the first of the year. Take care. Bye-bye.